You're just too good to be true. Today I am so excited because I'm getting a puppy. And by I'm, I mean my mom. But the puppy's gonna be here at my house, so. I'm gonna claim her. <laughs> it's honestly the ideal situation for me, if you think about it. My mom gets to pay for all the dog's needs and like feed her and let her out at 1 a.m. and I get to just enjoy the puppy, so. I'm just kidding, I'm gonna help out. So we are getting a golden retriever puppy, like a purebred golden. If you guys have seen my other dog videos, you know that I love golden doodles. And that was my first interaction with the golden retriever breed in a way, cause they're half. And what I love about the golden doodle puppies that I've had in contact with, Louie and my grandma's dog, Sparky, which was Louie's sister. They were so kind and cuddly and they loved you. Like you could feel their love. So I'm assuming a golden is gonna be like that on steroids because there's no poodle mixed in you know <laughs> the background on like my family and everything our family dog blue passed away back in june of a rare disease and it was really hard on all of us and we loved her so much and especially my mom she feels like there's been something missing from her life since blue passed away and i know you guys are probably like don't you still have a dog yeah we do her name's Lucky and she's 15. So Lucky sleeps 23 hours a day to stay alive. I love her. I've literally had her since I was like, what, eight? She doesn't really do much anymore and we love her. She's outlived every dog. I don't even know how she's still going. She's a strong girl. But my mom really just needed to get a golden retriever right now. So that's what we're doing. We've never had a big dog before, so I'm excited about that. Also, I do wanna say for all the people that are like super against buying a dog. My mom wanted this specific breed of a golden retriever and there's no golden retrievers in any shelters. I think that that's like very hard to find and she did a lot of research. This is a great breeder and ultimately I think it's great that people encourage people to go to shelters and if you want to go to a shelter and get a shelter dog, you should do it. But in this particular case, this is what was best for my mom and she's gonna do what's best for her. So I don't want any comments coming at us for buying a dog. And I've also been working on my mom to adopt a cat at from a shelter so that Ren has a friend. I haven't said her name yet. Her name is Ren. This is my getting Ren outfit. I wanted to dress like her because she's white. That will make her think that I'm her mother. Hi. What's up, Catch the light. Time to get puppy. I'm already thinking of all the nicknames I'm going to use for her. So you think she's just going to connect to you? Most dogs do. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much better. Hey. I look orange. The whole family's here. Hello. <laughs> so now we're headed over to pick up Ren. And it's a two hour drive. We are so excited. We've been waiting for this day for at least a month. Yeah, we are gonna be there in five minutes. So the next time I check in, there's gonna be a little puppy here. Who's excited? I am. Come on, boys. Connor's not even in it. <laughs> Hi, Molly. Oh my gosh, we just called her and she came in her car. This is the mommy. Oh, there's mommy. Oh, there's friend's mama. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. goodness. And, and. Oh, yes, yeah, baby. Oh, we love God. you. <laughs> we are so happy, baby. Oh. Someone asked if Andrew like lives here now. He basically does. I'm here to just add a little bit of commentary to Ren's first couple of days with us and the family. During the whole car ride home, she was literally such a sweetheart. 
She cried for the first few minutes and then was absolutely fine for the rest of the two hour trip. We gave her two bathroom breaks and she peed very quickly both times outside and she basically slept the whole time. It was so cute. I mean, look at her. So we got home on Christmas Eve Eve and she got to meet Lucky, which is our dog that we've had since I was eight. They got along really well at first because Ren didn't really care about her, which I was surprised. She didn't have much of an interest in Lucky and and that was best case scenario because Lucky is super old and fragile and she doesn't really want to be playing with puppies too much. Where is Ren? Ren dear. Ren a fur. Right now. Good girl. Then Andrew got to meet her for the first time, and of course, Rem loved Andrew right away. She still gives him really good greetings, and it's honestly annoying because I should be getting those good greetings, not Andrew. But the fact that he's here constantly, she probably thinks he lives here and is part of the family, so. I'll take it. Oh, you're so sweet, little baby. Oh, you're so sweet, little honey. Oh, puppy breath. She oh, scratched you Stevie a few times. Be yeah. careful. Oh, yeah, you got them claws on you, girl. You got them dragon claws. Get your ears. Dogs oh. always love Andrew's ears. Oh, oh. Next morning, I used Ren as an alarm clock for Andrew. And as you could see, she just sat there. She was so quiet the first couple of days, so calm. I figured her personality would come out more and she would get comfortable soon. And boy, was I right. That girl sometimes is on demon mode now, but it's fine. Then we got to introduce her to my grandma's dog, Sparky. I've already made videos all about the mini golden doodle Sparky last year. You guys can watch those linked below. When they first started playing, Sparky was so excited to see her. We had to make sure that she was on a leash so that she wouldn't, you know, accidentally hurt Ren. When they played at first, Ren was a little timid, but now they play really great together. Honestly, Sparky is really gentle and sweet, so I'm glad that they get along really well. Look at the tail. Oh, yes, good. You want banana? Hey, listen. Happy banana day. Mm, look at that little baby mouth. Look, look at it. She's just swimming upside down. Is she a girl? What? She's not a wiener. No, she doesn't. Hi, where are you going? So on Christmas day, Sparky came back over and you can really see that they are starting to warm up to each other so much and they're already becoming best friends, which is adorable.
also see that Lucky really wants nothing to do with Ren. <laughs> When we first got Ren, she was literally smaller than Lucky, but now she's already bigger than her and it's been a week. So this girl is, is growing way too fast and it's so sad. <laughs> she's really opening up now, like her personality has come out so much more. She is teething right now, so she'll try to like bite us, you know, to teeth, like just on our hands and whatnot. And we're working on averting her attention to an actual chew toy. She's probably sleeping around 20 hours a day. She already knows sit. I don't even know how. She learned that the first day. She started out doing better with the bathroom. Now she's kind of getting through that rebellious stage that puppies go through where they're like, oh, I'd rather just pee inside. <laughs> so we're working on it. When you own a puppy, it's your duty to take them out enough that they would never even have to pee inside. So you have to learn their schedule, learn their signs that they have to go to the bathroom and just be really aware of them and always watch them. <laughs> She likes to bite my earrings, but that's scary because they're dangled. And she could probably rip my lobe out. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl, let's go outside. We have now had Ren for five days and she is seriously doing amazing. amazing. She sleeps through the night somehow and like wakes my mom up around eight o'clock and she's literally such a sweetheart <laughs> she sleeps a lot she barely has any accidents she's already learned how to push that little bell right there yeah she already like learned how to do it not fully learned but she is like really close i don't want her to get mud all over me she got mud on me here's your friend <laughs> guys her belly this is the cutest belly i think i've ever seen Mm -hmm. I couldn't be happier. My mom is like obsessed with her. My mom took her to see her friend Beth who has literally a 150 pound dog and Ren did amazing and is not scared of anything. She doesn't have any anxiety and she doesn't cry. So we're about to take her for her first walk at eight weeks old and it's gonna be really short. So don't worry. And it's perfect, beautiful day outside. So let's go. Mommy. Then yesterday she went over to my grandma's house and got to play with Sparky outside. And I'll show you guys the footage here. Yeah, I mean, she's pretty much amazing. I love her, she's very smart. I think one of the fastest learning dogs that we've ever had. And I can't wait to see her grow up, but I also can wait, I want her to stay tiny. She's so adorable right now. And I honestly just think she's such a beautiful dog. So I just can't wait to see her continue to grow up. Here's the dog of the hour. <laughs> okay, these are my nicknames that I've already created for this little rat. She's hyper right now. Okay, stay still, Ren. It's Ren, you're making us look bad. Chill out. Why do you smell like tuna? This is Rendier for the holidays. Render if she's malfunctioning. Renifer if she's feeling sassy. Renda if she's in a salsa mood. Oh yeah, Renny eggs for if she's just being snotty. I give all my dogs really ugly nicknames because it makes me happy. Like, Lucky's nickname is Loogie. Blue's nickname was Blucifer. 